I'm a little embarrassed by this because I think there are probably a lot of people watching at home who would say like, you know, you're not actually uh, nailing it. And for the record, I forgot to record our sound. So it will get, my audio will get better about halfway through this interview. But are you proud of how you've learned to technically execute your podcast, considering that I'm assuming like me, you did not have any of this training? No, 100%. It was a major learning curve, getting all the technology right, like having to have the headphones into the computer so I could hear the other actors, but one off because we didn't want them bleeding over, forgetting to push stop on record, you know, definitely. But, but that, I mean, just the fact that I actually had something that I could work on during the quarantine yeah. was... I talk about like a bonus gift. This was something that was set up at the end of last year. So I was already planning to do it. I just didn't know that I would be doing it from my bathroom in Idaho. No, it is true. I mean, it is such a good fortune that you had. And this is a podcast that you're producing as well. And this, we should say, this is Dirty Diana. It's available now. And it is, there is some mature content. Yes. There is. And you, uh, <laughs> and now I will say that even, like, I feel like one of the first things I was aware of, of you, is that you have this really iconic voice. Like, is it fun to use it in a way like this that I'm assuming you, you have you ever done just straight voice work like this before? I mean, I've done some voiceovers, but nothing like you know, what I remember hearing people talk about, oh yeah, you know, in the old days where they had the radio shows and everyone would gather around. And, um, and it was definitely a really cool experience. I mean, literally just like this, doing acting out scenes with actors. Um, and I, my, you know, I guess I don't think of my voice because like most people, I, I stand hearing myself speak um but i'm glad that whatever others see about it works for this this is um basically you are uh, not to give too much away of the plot but you help women record erotica is that like a pretty yeah. decent description of it so at the it's heart very it, steamy i've listened i listened to an episode it's I very know that steamy you just sat back there set the <laughs> little little, little closing i off. will say I found it a, a very titillating and then a little bit less so when I realized you filmed it in a carpeted bathroom. Uh, did, that take, did that take the sexiness away? It was a little bit. When I pictured you on a tiny couch in a carpeted bathroom, it was a little bit less sexy. But I'm sure for someone out there, that made it more sexy. Well, the good news is it's just all about our imagination. So you can change that picture and, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Did somebody just get their eyes on a giant tennis ball? <laughs> Murps, no. We're... So this is, that was, uh, I do want to clarify, because we talked a little bit ahead of time. I feel like people might watch and wonder why you just said Murps. Your dog's Murps. name is Murple. Yes. Yeah. They're all, and the rest are all going crazy in the other room. I'm hoping that's not bleeding over into our... No, I, the Murple's the first one we've heard, so. Okay. I mean, again, I, I want to keep going back to giving you credit for figuring out to record a podcast. I feel oh, like yeah. not a lot of people have seven dogs in the house when they're trying to record a, a very erotic podcast. <laughs> yeah, it was quite amazing. It, 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 <laughs> imagine like having to do these scenes, which not just the erotica part, which is really trying to, to open up the window of from this female gaze and really, you know, take you down into the stories that in particular um, are, are reflective of a woman's fantasy. Um, uh, we certainly know plenty about men's. Um, and, but this also is dealing with a relationship that's very fractured and, you know, at the heart of this, it's about a relationship really being at its bottom and making its way back. But I'm sitting in my little tiny bathroom with <laughs> um, and the giant uh, uh, Joan of Arc statue um, that's excellent for holding the towels after they're wet. Um, and, that's, um, what, a, what, a, what a great tribute to uh, Joan's sacrifice. 
Uh, <laughs> out for me, Seth. She's looking out for me. There you go. Um, but I would have these scenes where I'm, we did where it's in a therapist's office and we're like screaming at each other. And then we'd go on our lunch break and I'd go out into the kitchen and there's everybody. Hey! <laughs> uh, well, it's certainly the result. It was worth the hard work you put into it. Um, you also, again, I feel like people must have been happy to have finished filming something that can then be released now because obviously so much work has been stopped. Uh, so you have a show, uh, Brave New World, uh, on uh, I think, on Peacock, I think, coming out on Peacock. Yes, and it airs um, on the 15th, I think. I could yes, be wrong, tomorrow. But the 15th, and, um, which is really exciting. I'm, you know, a small piece of it. I just did um, a, a little bit of it, but I really think the show uh, is, going to really uh, capture people's attention. It's a, you know, it's an amazing book and to see it translated um, uh, into something that I think will be great entertainment and certainly needed new content for now. I could not agree with you more. I'm so excited to see it. And it has just been a delightful uh, talking to you. Thank you so much for making the time for us today. Thank you, Seth. Enjoy your... Uh, Fireplace of stone. <laughs> yes. Let us, we'll both. I like your. I, both I, I, a, I like your man behind you too. Your. Your. Yes, your, we got your, a sea your, captain. I'm very lucky that um, you know. Again, you have to find. Uh, you know, you try to find interesting backgrounds for these things, and I'm very lucky that my uh, my in-laws are collectors of sea captains and, and ships, tiny ships. Oh, so. I, I have a feeling that I would get along really well with your in-laws. Yeah, I think so too. Um, uh, especially yeah, again. That's, that's far smaller than a normal boat would be, uh, yeah. just like your couch. Exactly. Um, thank you so much. We'll see you next time, hopefully in person. Okay. <laughs>